story. My faith protects me. Salutations. At least things have stayed interesting. Something over there. <laughs> Who there, wanderer? Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. Originally, Shadowdale. Lately, the fanciest inns of Waterdeep. Meet Elminster Ormar, a good friend of mine, but rather more significantly, he's the most famed and respected wizard in the realms. Am I indeed? Most famed and respected errand boy, more like. I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gail. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Waterdeep washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you won't begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get, get out with it. Oh, for the love of... Uh, this way then? Hmm. To your camp. Oh, don't dawdle now, lad. You're the one who's in such a frightful hurry. Oh, nigh on 13 centuries old and he still thinks with his stomach. We'd best follow and see if he's more disposed to speak plainly once it's stopped its grumbling. A wise choice. Better to indulge your curiosity than Elminster's appetite. Yes, what a delightful wedge of old Elthurian that was. Doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Makes one's words frivolous when they should be grave. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savoured so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Elminster. Right. Um, you see, I, um, that is to say, Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. The long-awaited question. Now, if you please, 
Elminster for the too long awaited answer. You know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistral would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Mistral is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the absolute, that most insidious of evils. The very purpose of my presence, in a roundabout sort of way. You must know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gail, with its destruction. It is Mistress belief that only you can. The orb. Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. You must find the heart of the Absolute, whatever that may be, and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world. He is not. But it seems that Mistra is. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend, but such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the Absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistress' promise. With that, I've said my sorry piece. And need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. My Nahastra Mistra Italian Thras Annas Difra. It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make, and yet even farewell. Farewell, Elminster. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. Doddering act is merely an illusion, one he's most adept at maintaining. Elminster is the most formidable wizard in the realms, perhaps in existence. For Mistra to have sent him, the severity of her bidding could not be clearer. 
all weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling to realize how little of it one might have left. Of course. You offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted, the absolute will be gone, and I along with it. I've no doubt she has the power to do so, but as for the permission, Ao would not look kindly on her meddling in mortal affairs. Divine intervention has a tendency to make things worse, not better. As for Elminster, he saved the realms more times than legend can recount. But to take on a god is no easy feat, even for him. My orb is the best chance we have. And only I can wield it. If there was, I'm sure the goddess of magic and the greatest wizard who ever lived would have identified it. But alas, only one solution is offered. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the Absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. Let's save such certainty for the moment such a decision is upon us. We may feel differently once we know what we're truly up against. of the weave. Uh, you'll still be able to do your wizard thing, though, right? Of course. That doesn't make the shadows less dangerous. Joy. to speak? I studied a drow with hideous but fascinating. You wish to speak?
Attila Vlacketh. Has our queen sent a knight to slay me with his own blade? Such informality, child. Does Justil Kithrak not command your respect? Your blade speaks for you, Kithrak. You've come for blood. Child of Gith, I've not come to kill you. I've come to aid you. Don't trust him. Skakak Kir Gith Shabeleth. My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. Speak. My ear is yours. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazel. Within it lies the seed of Vlacketh's demise, and I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Vlacketh's demise? Shkaketh! I should run you through for suggesting it. A fool stumbles without cause. A hero serves a cause without question. I am neither. Clear of heart, clear of mind, and bound by no master. Now, you must listen. The Prism's tenant can put an end to Vlacketh's tyranny. They must be let loose. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the prism went missing, I feared the worst. Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting in a taproom called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Lazel. Together we will break our chains and be Vlacketh slaves no longer. I am no slave, just still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me and she who will ascend me. Lies, Lazel, every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify, it extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the Ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Madness! You flood me with this... this heresy! I... I will hear no more of it. If they have not said, they must have good reason, and I won't be the one to betray them. I served Vlacketh the whole of my life. Learned her words, fought her battles, yet she names me her Sharlak. Your words carry truth. I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. Lazel. I see Talakma gear in you, sister in freedom. Together we will be our people's light. Take this. It is a Qualif, a psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. I should go. Vlacketh's gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. 
Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazo. Vlakith cost seven hearth crash head. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu Slate. But they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the 10,000 protocols stem. Forsake one protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Vos speaks true, if Ascension is a lie, if Tadpole Purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Flakith. She has sinned against me. Ascension is a young Gith Yankee's greatest honor. Long ago, the Gaith enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war, until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose, to train hard enough to slay a Gaith and take its head. Then, we speak the right of ascension, and a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlakith, in Tunarath, City of Death. We are honored with an eternal home in the Astral, celebrated for our victory. We are ascended, or so I believed. I'd never thought Vlakith a tyrant, or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might, and I the envoy of her will. A warrior, a champion, a destroyer. But if Voss is right, and Vlakith consumes the Ascended to gain power, then I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Githyanki is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Gaith, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlakith to true godhood. I don't know. I can't know. And that drives me mad. At first, I thought them an illithid deception, a trick of the tadpole. But the dream figure is real. It lives in the prism. Vos believes they are the seed of Vlakith's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. Then, when the Kithraki come for me, and come they will, I will submit to their blades. They would feed me to their dragons, and I would deserve no better. Yes, I'd like time to think. We'll meet Kithrak Vos at Charesis Caress in Baldur's Gate. Until then, be vigilant. Vlakith's eyes are upon us.
Mark my words. This power, you might as well ask me to gouge out my... Consume all the gate tadpoles you wish. I'm not so craven. Gladly. next no rest for the wicked I see The tieflings have moved on. We can restore the harmony of the grove now. Peace. Enjoy it while it lasts. Take a while for us all to recover. But you, of course. Keep balance.
It'll take a while for us all to recover. Of course. May you keep that. Way to the nearest library. Whatever comes, I'm ready.
Don't be shy. Quite ready for you. Wits and blades always sharp. Hey, good looking. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Cooking. My face protects me. Ah, an excellent choice. Stop me yet.
This is no typical gloom. We need to stay alert. Ah, uh, are you the true soul? I'll take that as a yes. Listen up. Grab a torch, stay out of the dark, and move fast. The shadows have eyes. Go on. Don't stick about. Her torch will keep you safe. I'll keep an eye for other true souls and then head to camp. Can't get out of here fast enough. I can feel the shadow's power here, but they don't seem to be harming me. The Shadow Curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicias, perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. This beast didn't go down without a fight. Gold to death by the look of it. Hey, boy, you want the bone? Fish! <laughs> you see that blight of coat? Swallowed all by the shadow curse. Bet he was pure tasty. You're the true soul we're taking to Moonrise, I'm guessing. Right you are. Go through and talk to Kansif. He's been waiting.
Anything for a true soul. Put in a good word for me at Moonrise, eh? True soul. An honor. Did you bring the liar? Good. We were told to expect you. Then pluck a tune, and our guide will come scuttling. Them, your majesty, calling us their god and their guide together. Now that's what I call an abdomen. Greetings, in the Absolute's name. You have been charged with guiding us. New flesh for you, my queen. But who are they? Best introduce yourself. Perhaps you'll listen to a true soul. Faithful of the Absolute, they need a guide to the tower, same as us. Your minds connect, and you hear a whispered voice. The Absolute, or just the echoes of his fractured mind reverberating in the dark. <laughs> a true soul. You have more worshippers every day, Majesty.
think you can take me on. Heretics, Majesty. But they won't stop us. They can't stop us. You look twitchy, Stone Skin. Afraid of the dark. There is a darkness to these warriors that endures even now, long after their lives were spent. is upon us. As foul as I remember it. Perhaps even worse. But with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. This land is more than just soil and rock, root and leaf. It is a living being, in the form of a young fey boy, with the forest itself in his eyes. His name is Thaniel. I've met him in my meditations, but since the curse was unleashed, I have not felt his presence. He is its prisoner, I fear. And as long as he remains so, 
His domain will lie in darkness. But if we can find him, we can break the curse. If you learn anything of the Shadow Fell, or of a boy with the forest in his eyes, find me at once. I can't be exact, unfortunately. Time and the Shadow Curse won't have been kind to any traces that would have been left behind. A living witness is unlikely, I'll admit. But perhaps there'll be an unliving witness, or some lingering echo of what we seek. Don't worry. If you find something, you will know it. It's not easy seeing the ravages of the Shadow Curse. But your camp is a most welcome solace. You've shared your fire with me, your company. A small pocket of light against the darkness. But one I couldn't do without. Thank you. You're too modest by far. What fate would I have met without you? More good has been done since I met you than in a hundred years before. Words cannot ex- Yes, forgive me. Sometimes I forget myself, gazing on the beauty of nature's creations. Shadows are darkest here, hungriest here. Do not stray from the light, no matter what they promise. Guide me. You've got to press on. Ah. Wouldn't work my magic. Of course. Ah. There's the tower now, big lad. Your bridge is still clean. My blade is. But that can change. Just keep talking. They will be silent. They approach your sanctuary, Majesty. We're close. I can feel it. The Absolute. Its power is strong here. Playtime's over. So, pack up your ears. You and the pup have a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil, and a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress, Moonrise Towers, and you're getting him out. Questions, questions! You're wasting my time! Let's see about getting your priorities fixed. <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses 
and he turns to a thick. You either mount a quick rescue. Sounds like an easy choice to me. Zora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. Interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? Breaking. Now, get to Moonrise. New meat drider. <laughs> oh, the queen set them. Her Majesty's flesh grows full and glorious. Move. His thoughts seek yours, searching, grasping. Your parasite squirms in recognition. Disciple Zarel's in the Great Hall. She'll be wanting to see you. Rest of you, head on in. The others will go in, but I will go up. My queen summons me to her chapel to be in her presence. I hear you, sweet majesty. I am coming, my queen.
What's next, I wonder? No one stopped me yet. There can be no doubt. This is the place. This is where we'll discover the secret of the Absolute. Another true soul. The disciple will want to see you through the main doors. I will not be slandered! General, you saw my reports. You know it's not my fault. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. If I had been given drow warriors instead of goblin trash. Oi. What? You scrag. Enough. A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpole squirms, urging you to obey. Let me make sure I understand this. You're claiming that General Thorne gave you the wrong soldiers. Yes. No! You blame the Absolutes chosen for your failure. Of course it is not the General's fault. Whose then? Zarel's mind is a steel trap, but you cautiously ease your way in. You just need to shift her focus a little. I'm being unkind. Anyone might have struggled with such imperfect tools. Goblins are prone to failure. Yes. It's the goblins' fault. They failed you, General. Not me. General? Take Minthara below. Someone will have to consider her fate. No! Please! Mercy! Please! <laughs> bye bye, princess. And the goblins, General. You, true soul. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies, isn't that so? What is your judgment? You know I'm loyal! Tell him! Enough! True soul, tell the general how the goblins served our cause. Absolute. I did everything I was told! And there you have it. We're too close to the ending. And the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Kill them, quickly. What? No! You creaking old bag of shit! <laughs> I'm so sorry, my lord. She's an unbeliever outside my control. Try again. Dispose of the rest as you see fit. Or better yet, 
put that true soul to use. You have far more important matters to attend to. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, my lord. Thank you. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. They are yours. You can release them, kill them, or feed them to each other for all I care. Just deal with them. Here in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Please! You gotta help me! For old time's sake! done with? Might as well go say hello to Zarel then. The seat of the Absolute's power. Occupied by a general that cannot be killed. But his followers are flesh and blood. We must learn more about his power. didn't tell a lie. She said you'd find me at Here You Are. Carlac, isn't it? Now there's a name I'd hope never to hear again. What was Flo doing here? Didn't think to quiz her about her business. Florenta the Garotta. A Cambian I knew back in Avernus. She was the closest thing I had to a friend. That said, she would have choked the life out of me if I ever turned my back on her. The fact that she knows where I am, where I might be going, doesn't exactly delight me. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. She's a half-devil. Impossible to read. I wouldn't have given her the time of day, but even I needed a laugh once in a while. What can I say? The bitch had good jokes. Enough chatter. Your friend gave me three soul coins, said I could sell them if I wanted. But if I kept them for you, she'd consider it a favor owed. Soul coins, huh? This could come in handy. Sure. But she... For every coin you take, you've got to hear the story of the soul trapped inside. There you have it. Flo came all this way just to try to make me feel like shit. Clever use of her time. Memorized a bunch of sad stories on her behalf, did you? Didn't need to. Your Flo did some devil woo-woo and stuck them in my head. Couldn't forget now if I wanted to. Do you want the coins or not? <sighs> all right, suit yourself. Have a trade or whatever. Then... She said Karlak might say that. And she said to let her have it. You can take a look at the rest of my lot if you like. Got good weapons in search of a worthy wielder.
Better hope you can handle what I've got. Many thoughts, one mind. If you have coin, then show it. Get moving. Where do you hail from? I was a farrier in Disarin Valley. Then the dreams came. My brothers had the dreams too. Same as me. They wouldn't admit it. The Absolute calls us all to her design. Your family will answer. Eventually. and into the Absolute's light. She cherished you, but it wasn't enough. You were distracted by your own desires. Bloodlust, murder, chaos. And most damning of all, an inability to follow orders. I obeyed to the best of my ability. And isn't that depressing? <gasps> You are nothing. Uh, Minthara's mind connects with yours. Not strong as you remember, but fractured 
disintegrate him. Come to observe, true soul. She is a lesson. None can rise so high that they cannot fall again. We are erasing her. This is our duty. Peace, sister. Let us observe the true soul's methods. Perhaps we can learn from them. Her mind is yours. Break it. Immediately, your mind is swept into a greater vortex. A psionic storm with Thara at its center. Cannot hide, submit, embrace. Her torturers are not dominating her. They are destroying her mental defenses and exposing her to something else. The absolute. The presence pushes back against your intrusion, expanding to occupy every week. You shouldn't have interfered with us. The Drow's mind is resilient, even now. Do not be ashamed that you could not. None of you wrong. Oh, infidel. to be greeted as a hero. But the wretches imprisoned me and tried to tear my mind apart. I didn't think anyone would come for me. Erasing my thoughts and my will. Even I could not have endured for much longer. Agreed. Lead the way. Can't risk being in open view. I just want a little look. Cannot 
use that right now. Better make my next move. What is it? What's wrong? What is it? What's wrong? Called monsters. Minthara is supposed to be in a cell. You have some explaining to do. The guard is happy to let you pump. Really do have a way with words. Quite ready for you. She'd been escorted from her cell. Not that she could leave the tower. The general ordered that she be repurposed, not freed. And yet, I kill them!
use of my time. I last left Moonrise as a commander in the Absolute's army, obeying the voice of a god. I thought I had found a home and a purpose. Now I leave as an exile. But you risked your life to rescue me. For that, I am grateful. The artifact connects with her, pulling your minds together and showing her all that you have seen. The prism, your dream visitor, the protection that keeps you from obeying the absolute and becoming a lithid. She knows it all in a moment. Her mind reels, but is no longer clouded. She accepts the truth. She has no choice. There is much we must discuss. Do you have a safe place to camp nearby? Goodbye for now. I will see you soon. In my years as the Blade, I've witnessed Count Bathorm. He is made of pure hate. And lest we forget, we've a devil to rescue. Two missions, one destination. It's a first. Mazora gods. She makes a mockery of everything the Blade stands for. Such an asshole. A possibility. But I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only... We can have all for it, but it won't so much as chip one of her nailed claws. My contract... The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. We can. I'm sure of it. It does not compare with the comforts of home, but your camp is almost palatial in comparison to my previous accommodation. Thank you for allowing me to come here and for bringing me back to myself. 
Each memory that returns to me is more disturbing than the last. The things that I did in the name of the Absolute. The things that were done to me. They broke my mind. Precisely. While our tadpoles live, and the cult have the means to control them, we, we must eradicate them. Starting with General Thorm. I mean, Ketherick. My deference to him is a habit that will die hard, I fear. Not only this battle, but all that come after. Swear that you will keep me close. Until the Absolute is dead, at least. Thank you. I knew you were different to other true souls when we met, but I could see nothing clearly. Now, thanks to the prism, the absolute does not cloud my thoughts at all. I see that together. We rest well and keep your wits about you. Tomorrow, we go to war with the... I do not sleep unless I wish to, until I feel safe among this company. I shall spend my nights planning for the fights to come. Indeed. Hmm? If it is for the best.
can be no respite.
All's well that ends not as bad as it could have. Who's next? By my oath. Still breathing, despite everything. Our enemies are everywhere.
for a dull moment. What now? No one back home will ever believe this. 